got that plastic side. Hey, looking good. Back to work. You jerks act like you've never seen gardening bots before. Hey, botanics, we like to watch your work, baby. Well, then I'll make you a topiary. It'll last longer. Feast your eyes. Wow, how about me? Sure, smile pretty. No, that's the heck of a head. Green's your color, baby. Green? I'm sick of green! Anyone around here like the color green? Who don't like green? I don't. Oh, yeah, yellow's good too, and uh, personally, I prefer purple. Who else likes green? <laughs> Not so far away, it's a dawning of an all new day. Robots for everyone. Pushing back there could be our friends, side by side until the end. Robots for everyone. They build special powers right inside. Hundreds of models from which to choose with emotion driven EP. When the worlds of good and bad collide, gotta fight all day and night. When my dad and I decided to pack up and hit the road, I never thought we'd wind up in the one place I dreamed about. Huh? A Brutix and a Detectix? No. A Propellix. There's another one. Connor, watch it, will ya? Sorry, Dad. But you know how I am about robots. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I guess we'll both be seeing a lot of robots where we're going. What? Where are we going? <laughs> I guess I can't keep it a secret anymore. I bought us a house in that place you're always going on about. Bubble Town? We're gonna live in Bubble Town? They have as many robots as people. Excellent! Oh, sure. Excellent. If you want to get a jump on the latest in locomotion, you've got to try the new Hop to it. With Hop to it, traveling's never been more fun. New from Robux for everyone. Your book looks boring. Oh, it's a robot repair manual. If I'm ever going to be half as good as Hella, I have to memorize the whole thing. My book has pictures. So does mine. Hundreds of robot drawings and diagrams and... <sighs> robots are so much more fun when you don't have to memorize everything about them. Abby, newsflash. Robot Rampage, that's what baffled authorities are calling the disturbing incident that took place earlier this morning. A botanics landscaping robot went berserk, wreaking havoc throughout downtown Bubble Town. A squadron of Sergeant Civics was required to subdue the mutinous machine. Huh? Moments after this video was taken, the robot... Abby, look! There's someone in front of the empty house! Yeah, Don Don, who's that? Oh, hey, a boy, your age. Hmm, I wonder if he's got any robots. He looks cool. <laughs> Don Don, ready for a mission? Sure. Fly over, mm -hmm. snoop around, and find out what you can. Don Don on the case. It felt kind of strange starting over in a brand new place. Yeah, I brought all my stuff with me to make it feel more like home. But no matter what, something was still missing. Connor, I could use another pair of hands down here. Sorry, Dad. I'll be right down. Agent Don Don, reporting in. No robots up here. Over. If he's living in Bubble Town, he's got to have at least one robot. Just keep looking. It must be somewhere. Roger. <sighs> Dad, how about we take a break to see some rope uh, to see the town? Don Don searching garage next. You see that? We got robots spying on us. Dad, wait. We'll launch a counterattack. Grab something to help flush them out. Ah. Now I got you. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah. Repeat, taking evasive maneuvers. I am under attack. Don Don. Don Don down. 
down, down, down. You all right, son? Except for this giant bump on my head, yeah, I'm fine. Going, going, going. Mission accomplished. That thing won't be spying on us anymore, so just toss it in with the rest of the trash and let's get back to work. What if I... Hey, get off him! Huh? <laughs> Don, Don, what did he do to you? Me? It wasn't my fault, I... Uh. Don, Don, get up! Please, just say something. Don, Don, why won't you move? There was What's no the way I was going to pass up a chance to work on a robot. Don, Don! Let me take a look uh, at him. Uh, careful. Aw, uh, don't worry, I can fix him. Um, so, uh, have you fixed a lot of these robots? No, uh, this is my first. What? Hand him over. You don't get to practice on my friend. I can't believe I even let you near him. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Don Don's okay. Uh -huh. Say something, Don Don. Uh -huh. Oh, audio malfunction. I can fix that for you, no problem. Forget it. I'm taking Don Don to the body's pit. Body's pit? You heard what I said. Let's go. But my dad, I gotta... Come on. Stop. Hey, let me go. Hey, my dad's gonna kill me. Come on. Connor! Now, where did that kid go to? Connor! Connor! Dad sure was steamed. But I forgot all about him when I found out we were going to the coolest place in Bubble Town. What is the body's pit, Abby? Only the best robot repair shop in Bubble Town. Ella knows everything there is to know about robots. Really? You'll see. Wow. Look at all these robots. Hey, that blue one over there? That's an acoustic. Funky shape. And that's a mixed mud. Here, boy. <laughs> Next time I'll charge you for the tour. Oh. The Robics Floor Showroom. I can't believe it. They have all the latest models. Robics Floor. We make robots for everyone. Whoa, no stop. Let's go back. Ella, is Don Don going to be okay? It doesn't look good. If it kicks, don't trash it. I could use those circuits. Take that back, Mom. Well, I could. Hmm, very unusual. He did this himself? Yes, he did. All by himself. I never touched it. It's really quite good. Not too many robot owners could do repair work like this. I must say, I'm impressed. Maybe his work's impressive, but he certainly doesn't impress me as a person. I knew Abby was mad at me, but I wasn't listening. I was looking at all the robot parts and tools. And then, that's when I saw him. Way in the back of the body's pit sitting in a pile of junk parts and scrap metal, here was someone who could change my life. What you looking at? Huh? There's nothing much back here but cubics. Cubics? We all really tried, but none of us could fix him up. He's great. Once, maybe. Not anymore. He just won't work. Finally, even Hella gave up. But for some reason, she doesn't want to throw him out. So, what kind of robot do you have? I don't have a robot. What? No robot? Wow, what a bummer. Well, don't go hoping for a cubix, because this hunk of junk was the only one they made. Whoa. Don Don! That's my name. Glad to have you back. <laughs> you did a pretty good job of figuring out what was wrong, Connor. We could really use you. Maybe you'd like to work here at the body huh? pit. Oh. No, maybe about it, I do. Show me where to sign. Hello. Connor should have to pass the initiation, just like we did. That's right. He has to do what everybody else has to. He has to fix a robot in 24 hours without any help. And if he can't do it, he's out of here. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, you start tomorrow, so you better look around and pick a robot, Connor. All right. Then I want to try to fix that one. Cubics. No way. Huh? Cubics?
could it be? A robot went berserk in Bubble Town this morning. There can be only one explanation. So, Lex. <laughs> Colossal. Colossal. Waiting. The next morning, I got up super early so I could get to the body spit and start working on Cubix. I guess you could say I put the fast back in breakfast. <sighs> See you later, Dad. Connor, did you finish your breakfast? Uh, yeah, Dad, it was great. I had just 24 hours to repair a robot, 1,440 minutes, and I was going to need every one of them to fix Cubix. Well, Connor, I see you're working hard. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Huh. Tell me about it. So, why did you choose Cubix? Well, it's kind of funny. In a way, I really didn't. It's almost like Cubix chose me, really. Hmm. How about a couple of assistants? Come here, guys. You can't have humans help you, but it's okay if Mr. Fixit and Diagnostics give you a hand. Thanks. At your service. Just tell us what you need. Hey, guys. What's up? Got any food? Wonder where that new kid will get here. What? Connor, are you okay? I got everything under control. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> uh. That goes over there. But I you think she's gonna eat eight donuts? Thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. Thank you for waiting. Robots. The hours just flew by. Cubix was even tougher to fix than I thought he'd be. Mong and Abby and Chip were there all afternoon working on their robots. But sometimes I got the feeling they were there to watch me too. They never said a word. But after a while, I think that they saw that I loved robots just as much as they did. Them alone. Well, see ya. Yeah, good luck. Good night, Connor. Okay, see you later. Eleven hours, eight minutes to go. Shop. Well, if I'm going to be stuck, may as well be stuck with a coffee and a chocolate glaze. This Solex detector should work. I suppose there's only one way to find out, isn't there? One chocolate Aww. glazed and a medium coffee to go. I thought robots were supposed to be smart. Give me that. Ah! 
Uh, guess breakfast uh, is on me. Uh, I, huh? What is that? A Weldon fix. I worked on Cubics up until the very last minute, but it was no use. I ran out of time. My 24 hours were up. Hey, I tried. Sorry I couldn't fix you, Cubics. Well, guess I better go. Cotter, maybe we... Maybe we could bend the rules a little. Yeah. Pick another robot and try again. Yeah. Cubix is just too hard to fix. There are lots of other robots here. Why bother with Cubix when you could fix one of them easy? It's not Cubix. It's me. I'm not good enough. I felt bad about failing the initiation. Now I wouldn't get to work at the body's pit. But I felt worse about failing Cubix. It was like I'd let down a friend. I think Chip and Mong and Abby felt bad too, but I knew I had to go. Rules are rules. Well, Cubix, so long. You would have made a great friend. That was goodbye. At least, I thought it was. All right. I need everyone's help right now. Huh? Let's get him on the table. Uh, Careful. Uh, Steady, guys. Uh, uh, okay. Let's open it up and see what the problem is. opened my eyes. I couldn't believe what I saw and heard. Friend. <sighs> Cubix is fixed. Hmm? Guess Cotter did. <sighs> we had the body pit back together in no time. It was easy with Cubix's help. I'm still not exactly sure how I fixed him. But I was pretty sure that wouldn't be the last surprise. Come on! Weldon fixes downtown! Let's go! Right behind ya! Me too! Cubix! I wish we had a hover scooter! Hover scooter? Wow! That was pretty cool! Hover Scooter! <sighs> okay, Cubix, let's kick it! Kick it! Let's kick it! Whoa! Huh? What the? Hey, what is that thing? Cubix! Whoa! Yeah, he passes. Whoa! 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 Some ex 
exploratory surgery may find the trouble. It'll just be a moment until the doctor is in. <laughs> I'm sure the operation will be a success even if you don't survive. is back to normal. Uh-huh. Yeah. Connor, you and Cubix really saved the day. We just did what anyone was. So, you gonna join us here at the body spit or what? What do you say? Well, yeah, Connor. Well, if you insist. If you insist. Now all I had to do was tell Dad we had a new robot in the family. And I thought fixing Cubix was hard. <laughs> I see uh, your mission was a success. Yes. But it wasn't as easy as I thought it would be. I sucked the Solex out of that bucket of bolts. But some kid and his robot tried to stop me from getting it. I had to use my stink gas. Still smells. Uh, he didn't find out about the Solex, did he? Of course not. Good. Solex must remain our secret until the time is right. 